So Julius Malema has not shed any light on how he's going to afford his house in Santon. He has admitted he's in business, but won't divulge any details there either. Where do I get money to build such a mansion within a short space of time? It's none of your business. You must mind your own business. With regard to business, yes, I do business. And I'm not going to tell you what business am I doing. It's a private matter. I'm not a public servant. I'm not a public representative. Our people don't care about our money. What they care about is political consciousness. The will to liberate them. Because we are part of them. Unlike you, we don't read about poverty. We have lived poverty. We are part of this struggle. We are part of the pain our people are going through. And we need no lecture about that. So what matters is consciousness. It's not about where we stay. Our people know that very well. It's not about the type of shoes we wear. That is petty. Our people want the political will and the ability to act. For now, the ANC Youth League president claims he's a private person and wants to be treated as such. I'm a private citizen and I'm not going to discuss what public figure, what do you how do you define a public figure? I belong to a civil society organization. I do not belong to parliament. I'm not a senior government uh, official. I don't have access to taxpayers' money. I do not use taxpayers' money. I don't decide how taxpayers' money gets to be spent. But he does welcome any investigation by SARS or other government institutions into his affairs. I'm answerable to law enforcement agencies. If SARS comes, there's absolutely no problem. I'll give them an answer. If the walks come, I'll give them an answer. You are very excited, all of you, when the public protector was investigating and highly disappointed when the results came. There was a sponsored investigation by yourself. You are not happy with the results. You can sponsor it again. There is no problem. There is nothing that will come out, nothing.